Justin, here you go. I challenge you to do a 100 hour fast. That means eat no food, take in zero calories for 100 hours. Could you do that? 100 hours with no food? You gonna do it with me? All right, let's try. All right, well, you're on challenge theory. I don't know how I'm gonna make a video about not doing something, but I like a challenge. Let's see if I can go 100 hours with no calories. I think it's gonna mean a lot of uh, water. So, let's get started. So we're about 45 hours into the 100 hour fast, water only, and the first 24 hours are probably a little harder, and, uh, but right now, I'm definitely having hunger pains. I'm definitely hungry. I can definitely eat, but I feel like, I don't know, I feel light or cleaned out, you know? Man, it's raining so hard. I'm hitting puddles, like, huge puddles, and there's motorcycles everywhere, like, it's not my fault if I get wet, whatever. But I feel really cleansed, or cleaned out already. And we're almost to uh, 48, it's like 45 hours right now. Judea, she's doing it with me, but she accidentally, she had breakfast yesterday. So she's like 12 hours or 10 hours behind me. But uh, I don't think she's having much fun. I don't think it's gonna last. But I'm gonna try to stay strong. Uh, just drink a lot of water. I'm gonna go right now and buy more water because I'm trying to just down waters and keep keep uh, keep busy. I actually I ended up not being able to drink my little magic mind shots because uh, the challenge was zero calories, like no calories at all. So those have a little bit of calories. So I'm just having to do water. I'm gonna go get some right now. Look how rainy it is. If the motorcycle tries to get next to me, he's gonna get soaked. Look at this puddle. Oh, that's a small one. So right now, uh, we're out shopping for home repairs. And uh, I think I think about, I have about 24 hours to go, or 23. And uh, I'm feeling great. I, I'm, I'm bored, if anything. It's hard to film a video about not doing something. You know, like, here's an empty fork. I don't know, I don't know what to do. So, yeah, day one was a lot harder, and two. Day three is, uh, I'm not hungry at all, and it's like three o'clock in the afternoon. So this time tomorrow, 100 hours will be done, I think, pretty close. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. We'll go do a weigh-in. I might have to wait until the morning, so a little bit longer than 100 hours. But the way I'm feeling right now, you know, I don't have a huge amount of energy. I'm only drinking water and uh, keto chow electrolyte drops that I put in the water. They don't have any flavors or anything. It's it's pretty disgusting. Uh, it's just salt and whatever's in it. But it gives me a little bit of energy. Let's see how it is uh, tomorrow. A little closer to the ending. So it's day four. I think I have like seven more hours of this 100 hour fast. I'm not hungry at all. Uh, but last night I had a lot of weird dreams. I don't know if it's related or not, but basically I was just eating pretzels the whole night. Like not the curly ones from airplanes, but like the, the sticks, the pretzel sticks, like this big that you have when I was a kid. I just, I woke up like really full and feeling bad that I cheated on my uh, 100 hour fast because I was dreaming about pretzels. <laughs> so weird. I, I don't even know when the last time I had pretzels. Hello. Hello, where have you been? Hi. I don't know who that is. I don't know. Anyways. Uh, anywhere. I'm not hungry at all. Feeling really good. Really good mind mindset. I don't know. I'll explain it later because right now we're going to a fiesta. I mean, Filipinos, it's ridiculous. Filipinos just need any excuse to have a fiesta. Oh, my brother's mom, sister's second cousin's uh best friend had a birthday so we have to go it was three days ago but party time okay kill a pig we're getting picked up right now by a truck because all the all the roads are washed out 
but yeah, let's go to the party. <laughs> well, this is torture. These steaks they all cost about a thousand each. Steaks, and here's mine. Yay. Hey, buddy. My friends, Malinois. It says you need to eat rice, 153. <laughs> Oi, I just betted you. Uh, but I don't know yet. I'm going to go home right now. And I'll talk to you guys uh, about what, how I feel and everything. I'm still at a friend's fiesta. It was awkward just having a bottle of water. But, yeah, it's too loud around here. See you in a second. So... Last night was the end of the 100 hour fast uh, challenge. Thanks thanks for that challenge by uh, Jim at Challenge Theory. That was, I, would, I wouldn't say that's the hardest challenge I've done at all. Uh, maybe the first couple days I would have probably not said that. Uh, it, yeah, day two was the hardest for sure. Uh, I, Honestly, I, on day two, like maybe the end of day two, I went to the freezer. I was like, why am I doing this? Like, I'm losing weight without fasting and torturing myself. Why, why am I doing this? I took something out of the freezer to thaw so I could cook. And two minutes later, I felt ashamed of myself, like weak-willed and weak-minded. So I just put it back and said we could do it. So I'm glad I did. Uh... I just drank a lot of water and day three was actually really easy on day three I was telling myself well this is really easy I was even messaging Jim and saying Shh, I'm gonna go more than 100 hours this is too easy I'm not even hungry anymore I'm still active and stuff but then on day four I was I was good most of the day and then I was at this party this big barbecue just having my water and I went over 100 hours and I started feeling like no energy left. You know, I didn't go to the gym, but I was walking and really active. And I just had like, I, I really had no energy. I, I probably kept, could have kept going, but I said, you know what? I, I hit over a hundred hours, so I think I'm good. Uh, so the way I felt, I felt of course really, I don't know how to say it, light, I guess. Not, not physically light, just like, just inside I felt cleaned out, I felt strong and light, you know, like after you eat a big meal you feel heavy and gross, but this is the opposite, so it's hard to explain, but I think the biggest thing I got out of it was mentally, uh, I just felt like I could really do a lot of things, uh, you know, doing things that I thought I never would do you know, 100 or four, over four days without food, uh, water only, not even, not even different drinks. Uh, yeah, I just felt like I could uh, accomplish much more, a lot more confidence. So I'd like to go do more challenges. I got some in the, I got some in the books though. I don't want you guys sending me some crazy challenges right now. Uh, I'm working on some other ones. Right now I gotta go pick up my friend at the airport and then we got boxing. So yeah, great challenge. I'm glad I stuck it out. And uh, I think it's gonna be easy when I wanna do 24 and 48 hour uh, fast after this just to get uh, get cleaned out. But that reminds me, after, after doing this long of fast, I wanted to just kind of transition into the exact diet that I wanna do because it'll be easy after that, you know. Uh, of course, you can't eat too much. So I'm talking to another uh, blogger. Uh, and yeah, that'll be the next video about the next ch diet challenge thing I'm doing. So for now, just glad. I, I did lose some weight, of course, but I'll probably gain a little bit back just from water weight or whatever. I don't know. Uh, I'm not taking that too seriously even though I, get, I lost like 10 kilos uh or 10 pounds i think 10 pounds 
Uh, but I think the helping my uh, willpower, that was the biggest benefit. Anyways, start raining again. <laughs> so you guys put, if you watch to the very end of this video, put a fork emoji in the comments below to let me know you watched to the very end. And down below, there's a link to Challenge Theory because I challenged him to a really hard boxing routine. He's never done boxing before. So he's posting his video of him doing my challenge on the same day as this video. So go check him out. If you like it, subscribe. And I think we'll do more videos. I love these challenges. So see you guys later. Don't want to sleep in Cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate And finally make a move I think of you and All the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hella sure That I don't become you